no ravages of time testify to the present or to the coming generation that we have forgotten as a people the cost of a free and undivided republic. If others' eyes grow dull and others' hands slack and others' hearts cold in solemn trust, ours shall keep it well as long as the light and warmth of life remains to us. Let us, then, at a time appropriate, gather around their sacred remains and garland the passionless mounds above them with the choicest flowers of springtime. Let us rise above them the dear old flag they save from dishonor. Let us in this solemn presence renew our pledges to aid and assist <coughs> those whom they left among us, a sacred change upon a nation's gratitude. The soldiers and sailors, widows and orphans, <coughs> <clears throat> Two, it is the purpose of the Commander-in-Chief to inaugurate this observance with the hope that it will be kept up from year to year, <coughs> while a survivor of a war remains to honor the memory of his departed comrades. He earnestly desires the public press to call attention to this order and lend its friendly, friendly aid in bringing it to the notice of comrades in all parts of the country in the time for simultaneous compliance therewith. Three, department commanders will use every effort to make this order effective. N.P. Chipman, Adjutant General, by order of John A. Logan, Commander-in-Chief. So long as two comrades survive, so long will the veterans of foreign wars of the United States render tribute to our heroic dead. <coughs> On this day, forever consecrated to our heroic dead, we are assembled once again to express sincere reverence. This altar represents the resting place of many departed comrades who served in all wars. Wherever the body of a comrade lies, there the ground is hollowed. Our presence here in solemn uh, comradeship to all men, an expression of our tribute to their devotion to duty, to their courage and patriotism, by their service on land, on sea, and in the air, they have made us their debtors, for the flag of our nation still flies over a land of free people. Everybody will rise, parade rest, uncover, chaplain. Comrades uncovered. Father of us all, in the depth of our inspired, of the inspired words, I am the resurrection and the life. He that bleepeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade depart, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful to thee and to one another. Look in mercy on the widows and children of our departed comrades. We beseech thee with thine with our own tender, tenderness, console and comfort those who are bereaved. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace and righteousness. And through thy favor, May we meet at last before thy throne in heaven. We praise thy great and holy name forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you may be seated.
behind your senior vice. <coughs> On behalf of post 10,054 veterans of foreign wars of the United States, I place the symbol of our remembrance. Vice Commander. I place this symbol of purity on the comrade's grave. May each future generation emulate the unselfish courage of all men who fought for freedom. Comrade Officer of the Day. In memory of the heroic dead who have fallen in defense of the United States of America, I place this tribute of our devotion and everlasting remembrance. Madam President, the Ladies Auxiliary of the Veterans of Foreign Wars. On behalf of the Ladies Auxiliary of the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, I place this emblem of eternity. Its color bespeaks life everlasting. Thus do we immor immortalize the brave deeds of our soldiers, sail sailors, and Marines, and airmen who have given their lives on land, sea, and in the air. On behalf of our glorious republic, for whose integrity our comrades enlisted and served, I place this emblem of the nation, the flag of our country, was theirs to defend. Its glorious colors shall wave over them in death as in life, everyone to be, for everyone to behold. Silent land beyond, wherever our mortal remains may rest, these solemn services will be held in tribute to you.
Wishing everyone a wonderful Memorial Day here at the Chief Tacopa Cemetery. I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.